I've been saying for a while that I was going to do a video on MIDI controllers and using MIDI controllers with iOS devices. So I figured that seeing as I do an awful lot of work with Koala, I'd start off with Koala and we go from there. So I'm going to be using an iPhone 6S with Koala, which I've got connected with the camera connection kit. And it's got the, obviously that's coming straight out there, it's coming out to USB and then the USB is connecting to a Launchpad Mini Mark II. It's on low power mode so I don't actually need the power plugged in but I've got the camera connection kit that allows me to charge up the iPhone at the same time. So if I load up Koala now, initially you'll see I've got something in bank A, B, C and D are completely empty at this stage. But where you might expect that to fall, it doesn't actually. What happens is we've got... We've got those bass samples along there. Just turn the volume up a little bit. So we've got bass samples across here. And then the drum samples, so those four along the bottom. And then the ones along the top are here. It's got some spring reverb on that, actually I'll turn that off. But everywhere else is a little bit of a mystery. It's all kind of laid about all over the place. And I thought I was going to have to take it apart, um, plug it into a PC, you know, tear the setup down, plug it into a PC, do some kind of MIDI map layout for the launch pad. Hopefully that would be remembered and then import that in. Turns out that you don't need to do that. So what you do is you go into the, there's an app called Grid Instrument. So if you load that up, and you go into your settings, it's seen that it's a Launchpad Mini. Now I've got the settings to drum rack. So on layout, you can have diatonic, chromatic or drum rack. I've got drum rack. I've got MIDI out enabled. I've turned the internal synthesizer off. Don't want that. Then I'm spitting that out at MIDI channel one. So then I go into Koala, go into the MIDI settings here. Go onto MIDI, MIDI channel one. And now say okay to that. So now we've got everything that I've got on Koala corresponds with the individual pad. So we have this here. For some reason it's inverted or maybe I mean mirrored, I'm not sure. But the what is the top left on Koala is the bottom left within the launch pad. So that's bank A. Bank B. So that's bank. So now we've <laughs> So bang B is along the top there, look. So that's this quadrant here. Bank C, again down the bottom. And bank D, C. Bank D is up there. Bank D. So then we've got everything that we need to be playing straight off the bat. So really simple, just to get it all on there so you've got all four banks accessible immediately from all 64 pads, using all 64 pads of the launch pad. There's probably some other stuff that I can do with these kind of buttons up here as well, but I just thought initially to let people know you don't need to go into the MIDI setup on a PC or you know your Mac or whatever to load up your launch pad mini. You can access all that stuff simply by using Grid Instrument, going into those settings, having it spit out the drum rack layout, to MIDI channel 1 or whichever MIDI channel you want to do and then connecting that to Koala and all is well. Hope that's useful for somebody.